Hi everybody, I thought to do a quick video and just show you what we're up to at the moment. So, as you can see, we still haven't finished the uh, landing. Um, see that window over there? So that one needed major restoration, renovation, which is we're halfway on with at the moment. Um, the mortar, the brick underneath the window uh, was crumbling away. So we raked it all out, made probably a two inch hole uh, gap underneath and Julian spilled all that. So we were waiting for that to set um, to give it then another coat and smooth it over. Similarly over here we had this huge gouge in between the two walls. So that's been filled. I mean, until we finish those two little jobs, we're not then gonna set up the scaffolding, which is what is needed to get to the ceiling um, and the rest of the walls. Um, similarly, this side, we managed to take the sort of dado rail off, um, just off that edge there. Then on the right hand side, still the original pictures um, from the, the owner, the last owner. Um, but we won't be able to actually get to that until we put scaffolding on there. Um, until every little last bit up here is done, apart from this section, we're not going to put the scaffolding up because it's going to be majorly in the way. So at the moment, we've stopped doing that. Um, and as you've seen from the photos, we've started working in this section here. Um, so this is the landing. Um, and then that section there leads off to our bedroom, which is still only half painted, and then we've got a corridor down either side, Twins' bedroom down there, and Holly's makeshift bedroom down there. She's in a little double at the moment until we finish the bedroom to the right hand side there, the right hand door. Um, which I'll just give you a quick peek. Um, and again, needs major work in here. Her bed's in here at the moment, but that's about it. Got a cute little fireplace, which we hope to actually put a wood burner in as well at some stage. And this over here had, I can't really see it how, had these huge floor to ceiling sort of wardrobe cupboards, which we've actually taken out. And then behind it, we found this old cute little door, um, which Julian doesn't think is so cute, but I do. And I think it'll be a really nice feature when it, once it's uh, sanded and painted up. And it's very curious because it then leads, it's been bricked up now, but it actually leads down into what we're going to have as the guest bedrooms. Um, so this will be Holly's room eventually. Some nice, making you dizzy there, sorry, some nice double aspect windows. Got some restoration to do on those. Oh, there's Lily shouting. So this is where we're working on at the moment. Shadow the dog. And we're working on here because rather than just finishing off the hallway, because we've got the opportunity um, for some people to come and work with us now for a little while. Um, so in preparation for that, we decided to halt the hallway and actually start on this section. So at least in the short term, they'll have um, somewhere, somewhere to lay their head. Um, but if we go down, and we've got the big footsteps behind me. I believe that's Steve, who was helping us today, the electrician. Hi, Hi Steve. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Not pulling your hair out yet, then? No. I'm pulling wires out. Pulling lots of wires out, yeah. Getting rid of some of the old wiring. Hi Julian. Hello. Hello. What are you up to at the minute? Sorting the door out. Sorting the door out. <laughs> yeah, so this is, you find that just one tiny job takes hours or sometimes even a couple of days. And so if I step back, I'm just trying not to fall over a shadow of the dog. So if I step back, you can see the door. So it's a blood ceiling door and it goes onto this little balcony which it's not really a balcony it's um it's just a balustrade really um I suppose you to allow you to safety balustrade allow you to have the doors open um without falling out the window um but if you can just see at the top there you can see the daylight so it all needs uh restoring julian sanded it down so far 
um, and then it needs sealing um, with window sealant, window hardener, painting, window putty a little bit maybe. It's not in bad condition, is it? Julian? <laughs> okay, he's raising his eyebrows. No Compared to some of them, it's not too bad. So, right, I'll come through here. So now this, wow. We haven't even touched this room at all. This is another one of the guest bedrooms. And this is almost the state that it was in when we bought the, the, the house. It's oh, curtains, for want of a better word. Um, I think that's a generous description. Um, but when you see, it's pretty much the same footprint layout as the guest bedroom that we started working on to the left. Got some quirky features in here, which will build on but make nice. Lovely arched doorway, um, but some bad pointing in the old brickwork. Um, so we'll sort that out. Crazy little light switches on the doorway, which Steve is in the next couple of days is taking those off and upgrading those. And then we come to this. This is crazy but quite normal in um, old houses in France and certainly chateaus as well instead of um, so back in the day instead of sorry what you can see here is a brick wall um, but instead of, sort of plastering a lot of the time what they would do is they would literally um, just cover the wall with fabric um, now it feels like pebble dash but I'm told that it's called clepoli um, which is an old sort of plastering, but it's very weird. But Steve's told us about that today, so... But we are going to cover it, because as much as it's part of the history, it does not look nice, and it doesn't make for a lovely, cosy bedroom. Um, and then, moving over here, we've got another archway. Now, the doorway I've just showed you in what will be Holly's room, this is where that would have come into this room. So you just wonder why there was a doorway there in the first place. But, I don't know, I'm not gonna guess. Uh, what I do like about this room, excuse my <laughs> reflection there, is this. It's a beautiful little tapestry. Um, it needs stretching out a little bit and put in a frame perhaps, um, but it's gorgeous. Um, so whether that will stay in this room, I don't know, but yeah, it's uh, it's got some work on it, as everything. Oh. Now, okay, I don't even really want to show you this. This is just hideous. This is the bathroom. <laughs> Look at this date. Now, I don't know when this bathroom suite was fitted, but I'm guessing the 60s or 70s. Um, and then there's the, the bath. It all functions, it all works, it's just hideous. So we'll be changing all the suites and everything in here. Um, and there's a cute little fireplace as well. I don't like the brown, but we can definitely make something of that. And it really is a generous size ba uh, bathroom, as is the bedroom as well. So we'll head on over into one of the other guest bedrooms. So you've seen photos of this the other day. This is where we started. Um, the only people who've really slept in here so far are the twins when we first moved in. There was a little four-poster bed in here, which really, to be fair, was only good for firewood. So we've repurposed some of that wood. Um, this looks out onto some of our pasture. Um, it's a beautiful light room. And we're just working on it at the moment, just upgrading the electrics. Because um, again, new light switch new sockets but you can see over in that corner there again the same crazy thing with the little round socket on the window at uh, the door frame there um, so as ever a lot to work to do but the bathroom light in there doesn't work at the moment um, it did work and then it stopped working and as ever with these old places there's some crazy electrics going on sometimes so where I'm going to take you now is up into the attics and this is where we've got to be um, to actually sort just that one light out. Um, we, up until a couple of days ago, we didn't actually know um, where the electrics were coming from for that room. Um, so here we are. This place has not been touched. This is the th going up to what is the third floor now. And this staircase here 
this is what would have been the servants' quarters. So this overlooks again a lot of the, the chateau gardens. You see just the chickens in the distance there. That's the chapel garden where the chickens are half-heartedly clearing us for the moment. It's a rose garden, it's full of roses, but it's what will be our herb and medicinal garden. And then the scaffolding outside where we're renovating the windows as well there. And you can just see in the distance there to the left, that's the view that you've seen sometimes um, that from our bedroom, um, which then looks over to the Pyrenees. So if we just take you up to the attic, we'll just have a quick look. This is a really rickety staircase, which is the last thing on the to-do list probably. But this is where the attics are. They're quite big. Um, and I hope that one day, which I'll show you in a minute, I will have um, my own little space up here through those little double doors there. So the previous owners had started, started renovating this area, not this space here, um, but this space down here. So they'd started putting plasterboard up. Um, it's got electrics, plumbing, radiators, Lots of bird poo. <laughs> um, crazy though, as they started doing that, you can see that there is glass missing from the windows. That window, hang on, let me show you, is over there. Um, so, I don't know, a bit of a backwards way around of doing things really. Um, but that doesn't surprise me. So, in we come. And this really, this footprint obviously mirrors the footprint of downstairs. So what you've got in this area now, we are directly above um, the bedroom and the bathroom uh, to the left of where Julian was working. And again, that is to the right. So in the future, potentially more guest bedrooms. But right now, the focus is on just trying to get the electrics working, um, well, they were working, but up to scratch in this area. This is directly above um, the chambre, chambre d'hôte downstairs, um, but also directly above that, um, so on the first floor, is our chapel area as well. So we're not in here to renovate. We have a leak in the roof there, which the bucket is doing an okay job of catching if we remember to empty it. All in all, the roof's not too bad, but we've had to take up this floor here just so Steve can get to the light. The electrics lead over there, and then that goes down into the chapel. Oh, it's just a bit of a nightmare. Um, and reminds me of the house we renovated in the UK. So, all fun and games, but we've been here before. So that's it, really. Um, just show you over here. So... Just while we're up here. So we've got sort of a room in there. Um, and then this would be in the future maybe a sitting room or something. Um, gym area, who knows. And then through here, this is where I'd like my space to be. Um, so craft room, office space. It's a bit dark in here, don't have a light switch in here, but you've got another room that goes off to the left there. Another room that goes off to the right there. Love, 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 love these cute little doors. I'm gonna be renovating those. Um, but what I love about this room is it's got a triple aspect window series here. So um, just offers lots and lots of light. It's a really dark, drizzly day again today, so not the best light in here, but I just think it's got potential. There's also fireplace there as well, so you could have a cute little log burner in there. This is what we're living with at the moment. This is probably half of our things that we've brought from the UK. We have, it's like we're camping. We have not really unpacked because we just didn't see a point in unpacking everything. Here we go, and it goes on and on and on. 
and there is another barn full as well um, outside but just didn't see the point of unpacking everything to only pack it all up again um, so everything is still in its ballards boxes ballard removals quick plug for them there um, and hopefully as we get each run done we'll be able to unpack so that's it for now um, hope you found that interesting um, you can see the state we're really in here downstairs is not as bad as upstairs <laughs> but you'll see the progression you'll see it come together might take us a couple of years but we'll get there so hope you're all having a lovely thursday see you soon